without any further ado, Mark Edwards. Thank you, Derek. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mark Edward. I am a thought reader. I know what you're thinking. Okay. You're thinking I can't possibly read your minds or tell you those sort of weird, supernatural, psychedelic, psychic things which we love. Just like candy. It's going to be very sweet. So uh, these are my, my props. That's all I use. So what I'm going to try and do this afternoon, uh, I wrote a book called Psychic Blues. And Psychic Blues is about my experiences in the greater psychic world, talking about the real nitty-gritty. It is not a metaphysical book. It is not a spiritual book. It is about the business of being a psychic. And believe me, it is a business. That's why we're here in the skeptic track, right? Okay, so my book has a lot of the inside track. So what I decided to do today, because this was pretty successful last year, would be to just you know, go around the room a little bit, pick up some vibrations, the vibrations of the cosmos, which I am trained to uh, be able to hone in on, and try and give you some real world readings, the way it's really done, okay? So, I am not going to try and, uh, I'm gonna look at your thoughts, okay? But before I look at your thoughts, just to see who's kind of working with me up here, I want to send one of my thoughts to you. This is how mediums work. We want to get you on rapport with the medium. So I don't want you to second guess. I just want you to relax. By the way, relaxation, when I tell people I'm a thought reader, they all tense up. I want everybody to relax. Take a deep cleansing breath. Yeah, I want to see the shoulders kind of sag a little bit. There you go. It's very important in the work I do, okay? So I'm going to try and send you a thought. I don't want you to second guess. Just let your mind be open. I will try and send it in. You just let me do the work, okay? So here's what I want everybody to do. I want everyone in the room. I did that with my mind, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> My mind is a tool that's incredibly honed in on the emotions of people, even through solid walls right here. So thank you. I'll take all the credit for that. Where was I? Oh, okay. I want everybody to forget all that. You're in this room. You're in your head right now. You're in the moment. You're in the muse. You're working with me. I want everyone to think of a number from 0 to 50. Both of the digits are odd, okay? and both of the digits are different. So here we go, I'll try and send it out, relax. Okay, all right, I'm not sure, it's a big room, show of hands. How many people immediately saw the number 37? Raise your hand. Oh, about half, that's pretty good. 35 over here, this lady right here, you were thinking of number 35? This went right to your head, you didn't change your mind, did you? Okay, well, let, let, let's, let's start with you for a second. Um, that's funny, right? Uh, no, no, it's okay. Uh, I'm getting, I'm getting, and, and your name is? I had a feeling just before the, I came into the room, I was going to meet someone named Elaine tonight. There she is, ladies and gentlemen. Give her a round of applause. <laughs> Elaine. Elaine, you were thinking about something that has to do with grandma. No? Why am I getting a, a G? I'm getting, I'm getting a name with a G or a J sound. And it is somebody who passed over to the other side, who you've been thinking about. You've been thinking about somebody that passed over? Yes? Yeah, okay, well, that's interesting. And, and this person wants you to know... There's a piece of jewelry. Is that true? And it's lost? True? Yes. Say yes so everybody can hear you. Yes. Okay, good, good, good. It's a piece of jewelry that is lost, and I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm, okay, I'm picking up right away because of these lights. Rectangle shape. So, are you taking notes? Rectangle shape, box. 
it's like a, uh, almost like a VHS case, something that opens up. Ah, wait a sec. No, no. It, it's, a, it's a baby wipes box. Does that make any sense? You have any place where that might have fall, uh, fall, the piece of jewelry might have fallen into? A neighbor, a, a relation that has a baby wipes box, a plastic box like that? I'm telling you, look for a baby wipes box or something that has a little plastic tab and opens up. Somebody put it in there. And also one of the things I'm getting is it's moving around. It's moving around in somebody's car, like in a glove compartment or a trunk or something like that, and they don't even know they have it. Okay, so that's your cue. Does anyone in your family own a Jeep? I'm seeing a Jeep, something that's open like a, like a Jeep. So think about that. If it makes sense to you and it happens and you find it, I need a testimonial letter. Okay, thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That is the first demonstration. These people, you know, you don't seem impressed. You got, what, do you see this stuff every day at school or something? Or No, you're not impressed. That's okay. Well, I will, I will try, try to go a little deeper. We're going to take some questions. That's why we have the microphone stand. But in the meantime, I'm going to try and, again, pick up a vibe. Uh, the section over here in the light, it's very hard for me to have a really close contact with people unless I can really see them. And there's somebody over in this section. I picked up a really strong vibe when I was walking around, kind of looking through, seeing who was there. Uh, is somebody in the center section named, it's an A word, uh, there's two A's in it. Is there an Anna? Yes? Is that you? Could you stand up for a second? This is, this is Anna. Oh, there's two Annas. No wonder, OK. <laughs> All right, well, let's, let's see who this means, because I'm picking up something that's very obscure. So this will either mean something to one or the other of you, or perhaps both, okay? So what, l let's see what I can do here. Grandma, again. I don't know why I'm getting all these grandparents. Does that make any sense to either of you? You got a grandma. <laughs> That's, that's a hit. That's called a hit from where I'm coming from. No, no, but this is, this is I'm, I'm getting a sound. It's a sound that's very, uh, it's common, but it's unusual. It's not something you hear a lot these days, and it's kind of a, it's like, a, oh, by the way, you get a uh, lollipop for helping me out. Thank you, Elaine. People who help me out get candy. The rest of you, sorry. Okay, so, so why am I getting this, it's like, Does that make sense to either of you? Yes? Kind of? Okay, it's kind of. I'll go with kind of. Why am I getting uh, uh, pot holders and grandma? Does that make any sense to you? She, she knitted. She knitted pot holders? That's it. And you've got some of those maybe at home around the house? Have a seat. Thank you. Give her a round of applause for helping me out. Pot holders. I don't know. Oh, by the way, you get a free lollipop. Come on up and, and, and have your lollipop. Unless you don't like candy, and then you don't have to take it. That was beautiful how you just you went right with me. The other lady, no, no knitting, huh? But not pot holders. Not pot holders. Thank you for helping out. Very good. Oh, man. Why am I getting the name... Stanley. I, this is totally out of the blue off the top of my head. I'm getting the name Stanley. <laughs> yes? It's a very odd name, and I'm getting... Oh boy, this is really... No, no, not Stanley. Stanley. And I'm getting a really strong image of... of uh, a clown in a graveyard, and he's putting flowers on a grave, and I'm getting the name Stanley. Does that, I mean, does that mean anything to anybody in the group? Raise your hand. Nobody. All right, well, let me tell you this. Where is that? Way in the back. 
I can't even see you, but I can feel the psychic vibe. Right here? So, is it, I mean, okay. Stanley? He's, he's either a clown or he's in that grave. Does that make any sense to you? There was a gentleman in our town that people called him the clown. Yeah. And my name is Sandy. Yeah. He used to go to the graveyard and pick flowers and bring them to me, and he called me Stanley. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you, but I just got a chill right up my spine. Thank you for helping me out. And by the way, we did not plan anything. You have no idea who I am or what I'm doing, correct? Okay. Okay, what I saw was a graveyard, a gentleman in a clown suit, very brightly colored, big old, big old clown shoes. I don't know why. He's walking through the graveyard and he's putting flowers on the grave. And you just verified that for me. Are you upset that I upset you a little bit? I'm so sorry. I don't mean to do that, but this is the job we do, okay? All right? Boy, this is a tough crowd. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm getting hit after hit after hit. No, 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 don't, don't applaud. It throws off my timing. Save it, save it, okay, in case I have a weak ending, okay? Because I, I can normally I cannot keep up this kind of psychic energy. It's incredibly draining to be a medium. It takes a lot of, a lot of energy from my, my very core for your entertainment, ladies and gentlemen. By the way, anybody see De Niro as uh, the psychic in Red Lights? Nobody saw De Niro as the psychic. If you get a chance to see it, please see Red Lights. It's a great movie. De Niro is never better. All right, I, I got a little, I digress for a second here. Let's see, who else? How about this, this lady right here? You look like you're really puzzled by this whole thing. You were thinking, this is all bullshit. <laughs> or you came in here. You were thinking that, right? Hmm. Okay, well, I'll tell you what I'm getting from you. Did I give you a candy to cheer you up, this lady here? Please, please come up and take your choice. I'm feeling, uh, I'm feeling Tootsie Roll for you. I don't know why. Does that make sense? You'd rather have a Tootsie Roll, wouldn't you? Favorite. Your favorite. <laughs> Folks, are we getting this on videotape or what? Her favorite candy is Tootsie Rolls. Man. I may quit this whole skeptic thing, you know. I, I'm in, I, sometimes I feel like I'm in the wrong business. But anyway, uh, I was with this lady here in blue. I read your book. Don't do that. <laughs> I know. Randy will come after me, and not in a good way. I don't want to, I don't want, I'm here to entertain you, okay? This is all entertainment, right? Except for that show, what I got. Anyway, lady right here. You went to a psychic one time, and they told you something. Is that true? That's why you're sitting in the front row, because you're like, if this happens twice, I'm going to really be freaked out. So you, are, you, are you saying yes? Speak up. Yes. So everybody, yes. yes you went to a psychic, but you don't normally go to them. No, I do you not. Don't, you don't even like the idea of it, right? I'm very skeptical. Very skeptical. Okay, the thing I'm seeing... Seeing a lot of uh, movement, metal and glass, metal and glass moving very fast, and this would not be something I would want to step in front of. Does that make any sense to you? Yes. Yes. And you've been thinking about this for the last couple minutes for some reason, am I right? I have. You have. And it has to do with uh, an automobile? Yes. Yes? You had, at one time, a brown automobile, which is a very odd color, but I'm seeing the color brown. Is that true? And the psychic told you that that car was going to break down, and the next day it broke down. Is that true? That is true. That is true. Yeah. Come and get your candy. Come and get your candy. Uh, dots. Oh, well, I missed that one. Well, what do you know? All right. <laughs> Gentlemen here, you're laughing. <laughs> I'm not done. You're, you're really skeptical about all of this, right? You are not a person who would even read the horoscope in the daily paper, am I right? Good for you. Congratulations. This is, 
This is the kind of person we look for. Now, you know, I, 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 maybe, I, maybe I've gone to the wrong person here because I feel a sadness. Did you just lose somebody in your life? Wait, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Don't give me a hint. He's looking over at the lady. You did not lose a person. You lost a pet. Is that true? Yeah. I'm sorry about it. I'm an animal lover, too. If you read my book, you'll see I used to do a levitating dog act. <laughs> I did. So that's just to cheer you up a little bit. I'm sorry about your loss, but there'll be another one. And I think it's going to be a little, the dog, it's a, it was a dog, right? A little bit bigger this time, okay? Not much bigger, but mid-size, okay? So keep that in mind. And I'm seeing the name Spot. No, I'm sorry. No. You'll think of a good name. Sorry, I, I, sometimes I just pick this stuff up. I got to go with it. All right, let's, let's try and uh, take some people from the audience, if you dare. Oh, boy, you're such a warm, inviting group. We have a microphone ready for you. How much time do I have? I have 41 and 32 seconds. Uh, well, step up to the microphone, please. Don't be shy. Come on up here. Oh, okay. All right, now remember... This is not an exact science that I do, although so far, <laughs> if it was, I would not be here today. I would be at the frickin' racetrack, okay? <laughs> All right, so you had a specific question. It's kind of a serious question. Yes. Yeah, yeah, see, I can tell right away, serious. So I'm gonna have to get serious too. By the way, sir, a lollipop. There you go. Cheer up, I'm sorry to do that to you, yes. Get a little closer to the mic so we can all hear you. I'm short. Go ahead. Um, when I was little, I used to always um, see this figure, and it would like come up the stairs and watch me sleep. And mm -hmm. I always called him the Shadow Man. Mm -hmm. And he comes to me in dreams, and he's always trying to get me to find something. Mm -hmm. And I want to know what he is and what he wants me to do. Okay, well, first of all, it was a dream. So I don't want you to think that it was something in the real world, like a boogeyman that was going to come and get you, something like that that slept under your bed. And what I'm getting about that is this entity is a side of your personality, that you're a seeker. You're a person, you are not satisfied with what's on the surface of things. Okay? You are somebody who asks a lot of questions. You dig under the surface, am I right? Yes? Yes. Speak up so everybody can hear you. You're a person, you're not satisfied with just gloss. You want to know what's underneath. So you probably, what, what I get is this entity within yourself is telling you your future is to be an investigator. This, this, it's part of your own mind that's telling you, get involved with something in your future where you can investigate and put things together. Do you like puzzles? Yes. You do? You do puzzles? Yeah. Okay, so that's your future. So there's no boogeyman. It's just you want to put things together. No, no, nothing to be afraid of. It's a side of you that's going to come forward. And I say within the next 10 years, your career is going to lead you in that direction. And you'll remember this day as the day that you knew you're a puzzle solver. Okay? Okay. That, did I answer your question? I have one more question. Oh, you only got one. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. Go ahead. I can take, take a quick one. Um, my grandpa passed away recently. Yes. And uh, I'm sorry about that, by the way. I had him promise that he would like try and send me a sign or something. Yes. But he hasn't at yes. all. Yes. Well, I'm getting right away that you know you should not waste your time waiting for dead people to give you messages. Enjoy life. That's the message he wants to give you. Don't wait for grandpa to send you a message. Go forward. That's the message, if there is one. Okay. Thank you. Don't dwell in the past. Move forward. Go ahead. Wait, wait. Let me, let, me try, let me try and get your name for this. Why am I getting Louise? I don't know. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Let me put it this way. Watch for that name. It's coming up in your future. Louise. Okay. Yes. Um, I know someone. Thank you. <laughs> really close to me, and I wanted to know if you could see this person you want to get a hold of him okay well it's, first of all you ever hear the phrase be careful what you wish for 
You sure you want this person to come and visit you in your bed at night or something like that? Okay. I really, I really want to know that this person is okay. I feel like this person has been there and I want to know like... If he's happy or he... It's not a man. Okay. Well, be specific. Can it's, you a, give me... it's a woman. It's okay, a can you give me your name? I can give it to you. Yeah, please. Willa. Willa. <laughs> no, it's, her name is it's Joyce. Joyce. The thing I get about Joyce is Joyce could be a very stubborn person in life. She went her own way. She was very strong-willed. So wherever she is, she's perfectly happy because that's what she gets to do now. She gets to do whatever she wants. She's perfectly happy. Forget about her. She's going to be great. You waiting for a sign from her? You know what I get from her? Sunflowers. Something about a garden or sunflowers. Does that make any sense? No, because I'm seeing a face in a flower. It's almost like saying, hi, opening up like that. Does that make any sense? You're thinking about it. <gasps> Did I get something? What is it? Go ahead, say it. Say it. Say it. No, you really did. I did I, get it? I, I had found a picture of, of her like five, ten years ago. And you know those little flowers, the, the, the little frames that they come in flowers? It was yeah. in one of those. Okay, thank you for helping me out. Give her a round of applause. Hey, folks, don't hold back from me, all right? If you hold it back, it'll just, it'll, the show will get... By the way, you forgot your candy. You don't want any candy? All right, okay. Yes? Hi, um, uh, my grandmother died before I was born. Mm -hmm. And when I uh, started high school and whatever, um, I always get the feeling that there's an older woman watching me or someone kind of following me around mm -hmm. in my house and watching where I sleep. And I'm wondering, is that her or is no. that? I don't think so because the thing about her, she had a very restless spirit. True? Mm -hmm. In other words, this woman was all over the place. She's got better things to do now than to watch you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for coming. <laughs> do you want a piece of candy? Oh, yeah, I'll take that. Okay. No, they don't normally hang around. They got other things to do. Let, but let me see if I can get this right. For you. Not Tootsie Roll. Give her a round of applause for, for putting up with all this. Many people would call this abuse, but you know, it's a skeptic track. So, yes. Hi. Um... My family uh, in, in the last few years has had extreme bad luck, things that have happened that all the percentages are against. And, and, and it just it keeps happening, and I keep wondering if we're cursed or why this keeps happening. No, I don't see any curses. Otherwise, if there was a curse on your family, you wouldn't be here today. No, I don't even I don't believe in curses. I think that's all in your mind, okay? I think that maybe somebody's going through a rough patch and they got a big mouth. <laughs> Does that make any sense? Well, each member of the family would be going through a rough patch. I mean, it was very smooth and then every member has had something happen. So but why do I pick up one person who just is always focusing on that? Always on the negative instead of the positive. Yes? Mm -hmm. and, and this person is, they don't have much going on. So that's where they're focusing right now. Does that make sense? Yeah. Stop listening to them, okay? <laughs> That's the first thing. Stop listening to that person. They've got their own problem. And if you keep letting them carry you along with that, then you're just going to be caught in that web. So best thing to do is forget about it. And I also see something that has to do with someone moving from some place to another. Yeah. <laughs> and and it's, it's a more motivational environment. Mm -hmm. Is that you? my sister is just is, is moving from the person who's very negative <laughs> thank you i hope i help don't forget your candy thank here. you please yes don't listen to negativity total waste of time would you like this or do you like something else okay very good thanks for helping me out yes hi how are you um i have a feeling you're probably asked this every single time you do this wait wait hold on i'm sorry you did what now i said i have a feeling you you are probably asked this every single time you do this or something like okay it. But, uh, Surprise me. <laughs> no, go ahead. What am I thinking? What are you thinking? First thing that came to mind was food. Does it have to do with food? Nope. Okay. <laughs> so I was seeing pizza for some reason. Nope, I'm not hungry at all. Okay, you're not hungry at all. <laughs> well, okay, let's put it this way. 
if I could just look at somebody and tell, tell everybody, the whole audience, exactly what you're thinking, that would be a nightmare for me. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, I mean, I'd like to be able to, actually, you know what, I'm not even going to say that. I'm not going to go there. I would not like to be able to do that, okay? This is, this is a, that is a mentalist trick, okay? Let's just say you are thinking about, and again, I'm going out on a limb here. Well, well number one, you're thinking, he can't possibly tell me what I'm thinking about. But I was, I was getting, again, something that's heart-shaped. Mm, not really. It's not heart shaped. No. But it doesn't have to do with the relationship. Um, no. Okay, because I was seeing it has to do with people. You're a people person, okay? Okay. And and the thing about it is, you're stuck. You're you're like you're not moving forwards. You're not moving backwards. You're kind of stuck right now because the people around you are just not not on the same level as you are. You want more. You want you want things to be happening and they're not happening so you're stuck so I can't actually answer what you're thinking but what I'm getting is that sort of feeling is that you're stuck you're waiting for something to happen and let me tell you this about the people around you they're waiting for you to make a decision so if you're waiting for someone else to make a decision or to meet it me for me to tell you what you're thinking you need to tell those people what you're thinking and then that, an that the answer will be there for you uh, the reason I asked is because in the beginning you said you were a thought reader. And, You're what? Um, because in the beginning you said that you were a thought reader. Right. And what I was thinking about was the dragon behind you. Oh. <laughs> and um, I don't know. I just thought I'd ask. And I feel That's like fine. a lot of people feel like they're stuck. They're what? A lot of people feel like That's they're right. stuck. That's right. Now, this, is, this a is a good skeptical person has. we've got here. Finally, okay, <laughs> see, we're getting some skepticism in here. And there, believe me, you don't have to do battle with me. That is what this, all these things we're talking about and that you bring up are in my book. That's what it's about, folks. So yes, a lot of people are. And this, one of these secrets, I'm going to give it to you right now, is people are more alike than they are different. Okay? And that's how a psychic will work or a medium. They, they try to hone in on your weakness or something that they can sense about you. And once they get that, they just guide it to where they want it to go. And there's a lot of other tricks and tricks of the trade, too. But go ahead. You feel like you really got something you want to say to me. Go ahead. Um, do you sense any weaknesses? No. Me? No. No. I think that you're a person, <laughs> you're going to be very successful in your future. I think that you, you've known what you want to do since you're a little kid. Ten. Yes? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you knew what you wanted to do. You're on the right path. Stay with it. The thing is, Watch the people who are around you because, like I said, there are some people that distract you and you just need to stay on your path and move forward, okay? Okay. All right, I hope I helped. Give her a round of applause for helping. Right, come up and get your candy. Get your candy. Everyone gets candy here. Thank you for helping out. Well, you don't look like you're happy with that. Oh, orange, okay. Well, all right. <laughs> Go ahead, sir. <laughs> uh, I, I lost someone very close to me over 10 years ago, yeah. and it was on, a, um, uh, on the 22nd of, of October. And okay. it seems since then, uh, I'm always seeing 10-22, 10-22 when I look at my watch, right. um, when I stop the gas, you right. know, it stops at 10-22. Yeah. And I did have a conversation with this person about, you know, if you, when you do die, could you send me messages? Right. So... Are these messages, or is it something? Uh, I, I'm going to say about that, I don't like to take legal questions, because I feel like there's a legal issue about this, isn't there? Did he die, did he die under suspicious circumstances? No, and it wasn't no? a he. No legal matter binding on this, huh? No. Okay, because I was feeling like I try and stay away from legal medical questions. But let me just, let me just address this the way I would address it if I was giving you a reading about this. Okay, 10.22, all right? How many times, I mean, if you didn't know to look for 10.22, it's like if you're thinking of looking for a dragon in the clouds and you look up at the sky, you're going to see a dragon. So I think, I think that what, what's happened is you're doing what's called confirmation bias. I mean, how many times did you look at your watch and it was 11.13, right? You look at your watch. That's what it's on your wrist for. 
So I think you may be attaching a supernatural event to something that is just an everyday occurrence, but because it's attached to a really emotional response within you, you're giving it more credibility than, than is necessary. Because look, all right, let's cut to the chase. If a spirit could come back and talk to you, you think he'd just tell you through your watch? I mean, why wouldn't he just do something like move this table over there? You know what I mean? So, I mean, be careful of the things you believe in because you will make, you will connect the dots because you want them to connect, okay? I'm not trying to pour cold water on your specific situation. It may be true that, yes, they're trying to tell you something through your watch. Give me another example, like what, numbers on a curbstone? These are things that you see, right. right? Or an address. Yeah, so of course, you're seeing them, and it's reminding you of that agreement that you made. I don't see anything supernatural about that. So relax, everything's cool, okay? Yeah, he's like, <laughs> come and get your candy, all right? <laughs> see, some of this stuff is just logic, common sense, okay? Others of it gets a little weirder. What would you like, sir? I'm not going to try and second-guess you, because you change your mind about things all the time, don't you? <laughs> Yes, you do. Okay. All right. Whew. And away we go. You feel like you're a little tentative. Are you afraid? Not at all. Oh, boy, I'm, I'm losing fast here. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I'm, I'm very skeptical. I don't believe any. Well, I mean, I, mean, I believe that you have. The and look at you to pick standing there, ready to ask me a question. And. <laughs> it's okay, go ahead. No, but I, I think this is cool. I mean, I don't believe in it, but I'm fascinated by it. Good, and, good. And that's, to, that's, that's what it's about. And I want to about. play this game. Yes, okay. All right, all right. <laughs> I wanna, yes, you want, I candy. want candy, yes. I do. I, I want to play the game, too. Go candy. ahead. Um, okay, I have um, non-biological family, and they mm -hmm. have something going on very traumatic with them right now. Mm -hmm. And I, I would like to ask you about that. Okay, first thing I see is one person in specific that's an instigator, okay? And I think what's going to happen is that person is going to find someone to bounce this issue off of that doesn't have anything to do with the family. A third party is going to enter in. Somebody you're not even aware of, I'm not aware of either. It could be a therapist or a, not a psychic or anything, anything like that. There's a third party, a teacher therapist, something like that, that's going to enter in and influence that one person. And once that person realizes what the real problem is, because they've been looking in the wrong place for the answer, then this whole thing is going to open up. And I see side, people taking sides right now. Why do I see people that are angry? There's anger somewhere. No anger? I'm trying real hard to connect this with no, the that's situation. No, that's okay. Don't I'm don't don't help of. me out like that. But you said there was a there was a conflict. There's there's a problem. There's an issue. There's yeah. something going on. So again, there the, the issue somebody want the instigator and I'm not going to go on too much longer because again, it's really and this is a classic. It's really hard for me to bounce from you and go to a third or fourth party because my reading what I'm doing is really for you. Gotcha. Okay? So and I'm not a marriage and family counselor. <laughs> Yet, My. okay, but there, there's an instigator. It's all going to clear up. Third party, watch for it in the next two months. And I get the name Harold. I honestly don't know what the man's name is. You don't. No, my my uh, my dear, sweet, wonderful friend and her husband, who I consider to be family. Um, uh, his father went into the hospital, into hospice, mm -hmm. like. A day or so before Dragon Con. Okay. And it's been on my mind, and I just thought. Very it. hard for me to. Th but again, that third party, guess what it could be? Hmm. How about a doctor? Fair enough. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for coming up. Come and get your candy. I didn't stretch far enough for the answer. <laughs> no, don't stretch. Relax. Listen to what the doctor says. Don't listen to me. I'm doing this just for fun. Oh, okay. Dots. All right. I like trouble, don't worry. Give her a round of applause for having the courage to share her family problem with us. I mean, this is, this is very good. Thank you. Yes? All right, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't really 
I wouldn't say I don't believe in this stuff, but yep. I have trouble believing in it. And I hope so. That's why we're here. Exactly. I've been sitting through this panel hoping that you'd give me some reason to believe. No, but... I don't want to do that. There's too much of that already. Well, this whole time you've been doing nothing but making general statements and hoping for a hit. Oh yeah? His dog? Make a Her brown statement. car? I mean, that's great and all, but I mean, he. most people have dogs and a lot of people have cars and some of them might you be what? brown. You weren't that excited about it? Okay, let's ask the rest of the audience. Just, just a little mild survey here, okay? Just hold, hold, your, hold your thought for a second. In the first 20 minutes, was I specific or was I general? Show of hands, specific. It's about half, okay? So, all right, so you're a skeptic. I'm a skeptic too. That's what I do, okay? So now ask, ask your question. I just wanted to see if I was bombing completely or whether this was just an exception. So go ahead. So. Well, I was just kind of curious what kind of general statements you would make about me. You're skeptical. <laughs> <laughs> You're skeptical. Uh, you, are, you have a rebellious side to your nature. You do not always like to go along with what other, other people are doing. And in fact, this is a part of your nature because of your body language. Check it out. <laughs> This is the kind of things we look for, you know, you, and sometimes you even go out of your way to be, to show your rebellious side when you don't really have to, because everybody, all your friends already know that about you, okay? So okay. this is a very powerful aspect of your personality, and I think that you are somebody, if you're not doing it now, in your future, you're going to find a really creative outlet for that. Do you write? Yeah. Okay, so, bingo, <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> So your writing is going to take on this rebellious nature and you're going to be really successful with it. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to anybody else. Go ahead and do what your inner voice tells you and you're going to be very successful. I meant successful. I write as in I blog. You what? I write as in I blog. Yeah. Well, so what's wrong with that? That's not really anything that's going to get me anywhere. Mostly because oh, it's really? about my feelings people? and reblogging things on Tumblr. Yeah. So come on. One up me. Children's books. God, no, I hate kids. You get, okay, you, you hate kids now, but remember, as a, as a psychic who looks into the future, I mean, again, a lot of this, a lot of this is like the, the past and the present we can, we can deal with and, and be fairly accurate with. The future only sounds like nonsense till it become, when it becomes the past, okay? So I'm going to say future children's books. Now, who are you going to believe, me or her? It doesn't mean you write children's books, but you have something to do with it. It doesn't mean you have children. I'm just seeing something that has to do with that. I see a, a rebellious side that finds an outlet in that area. Okay, the other thing I'm getting is... What? Uh, nice. No, no. This, this, this is something completely has to do with the weather and the ocean. I don't know. The ocean... You're going to live, this is not your final, wherever you live now is not your final destination. You're going to live someplace near the ocean and not in the United States. It's going to be someplace like European, someplace far away. And it's going to be someplace you've never been to before. So if you get a chance to travel someplace or relocate, especially if it's someplace you've never been to, you need to go. Because the worst thing for you is to be in a rut. Okay. okay, so the worst thing is to find out later, hey, I could have gone to France, I didn't go, what would have happened? So I don't want to hear that, I want you to go, okay? So this is going to help you with your rebellious side, and also out of that is going to come something with books or reading or children. Okay. So the blog thing is only a beginning, because you may only be writing blogs, you may, you may think that's, that's nothing right now, but that's a stepping stone for you, because it gets out to people. And that's a very important part of your nature. Did, were you ever a dancer? No. <laughs> okay, because it is an expressive side. So the expression is seeking a level. Watch for it. It's coming up in the next year. Okay. Don't forget your candy. That's okay. There are people who want it more than me. Okay, all right. Thank you for being helpful. Let's give her a round of applause there. <laughs> yes. Go ahead, sir. Not to beat a dead horse, but my thought process was similar to hers. Yeah. You can beat a dead horse. That's okay. Okay, well, I'm beating a dead horse. My thought process was similar okay, to hers. Okay, but the thing is, similar to hers is, is, it could be, 
You and need to express the similarity. Otherwise, I don't know about children's books for you. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> I'm not seeing that. Okay, and, go ahead. In that I can see where the generalization statements come in. Yeah. And I can see where some people will believe and some people will have doubts. Right. So my question is, I've been having some challenges personally and professionally. Mm -hmm. And I want to see what you have to say about that so I can compare it to what's actually going okay. on. Okay. First thing I want to say to the whole room, I am not trying to get you to believe in me or anything I say. Okay? Get that. This is the skeptic track. Okay? I'm not John Edward. I'm not Sylvia Brown. Okay? <laughs> Otherwise, I'd talk like this. <laughs> and I'd say, your spirit guide is named Philip. Next. You know? I'm not doing that. I'm here to demonstrate what a con artist does for a living, okay? But within that, I'll, I'll answer your question, okay? So here's the thing I get about you, and I want you to answer honestly, oh, yeah. okay? Because the first thing I get about you is sometimes you try and do too many things at once. You can stop right there. <laughs> okay, all right. All right, all right. Hey, it's a gift, folks. It's a gift. What can I tell you? No, but, okay, 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 you can say that about everybody, more or less, okay? Focus, that's, that's the key for you, sir. Pick, pick the one that's the strongest thing, you'll be very successful with it. Forget all the rest, all right? Yes, sir, you look scary. I'm a little, uh, <laughs> you're not packing any heat under that cape, oh, are you? Okay. okay, all right. I thought maybe you're somebody from the Psychic Friends Network or something. No. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> come to search me down. Okay, go ahead. Um. Since we're here for entertainment, first, yes, first absolutely. I will take candy since the last few have not. Okay, um, you can have theirs actually because great. I don't want to go home with all this. Um, I have a decision to make next week that has no true impact on uh, my life at all and instead of flipping a coin I figure I'll leave it up to you. Okay, uh, <laughs> all right. I like that. See now that's, that's what you should actually go to the gypsy woman on the corner for, okay? Have no have no uh, uh, illusions about this person changing your life. Just say to him, oh, what the hell, you know? Or maybe you're at a party and there's a palm reader. I have no problem with that. So here's what I'm getting. Okay, you're a very hard worker. Okay, you're very results oriented. When you put your energy into something, you expect to see results. And if you don't get results right away, you can get impatient. Is that making any sense? Uh, I was a skeptic when I came in. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's, it's job oriented, and the job that I'm currently in is fantastic, but I'm not getting the results that I need. Yeah, so. okay, all right. So you are impatient, all right? So now let me, let me take the next step for you. I cannot, and nor do I want to be responsible for you losing your job, especially in this economy, okay? <laughs> but if there's a problem, it's just a matter of patience, okay? So the decision is, don't change anything right now. Gather as much information as you can from where you're at right now because what the, the ideal situation is you're going to take that energy and you're going to, oh, I use a psychic word. You're going to take that information for yourself because I see you, you're going to have a business of your own because you work best when you don't have other people breathing down your neck and telling you what to do, okay? So get as much as you can right now you'll know when it's time to go because you're stuck in this situation, but it's going to change. Main thing is don't get impatient because you'll blow it. Does that make sense? Yes, I'll stick with the job that I've got instead of taking the offer that's on the table. That's good. Uh, it literally was a flip of the coin. There's nothing Okay, all right. I'm not going to, I don't want you to come back <laughs> at me later, all right? But just the idea is you haven't mined the present situation for all it's worth yet. And there'll be plenty of other opportunities because you're results oriented. Right. How could you go wrong, right? Exactly. That's okay, yeah. give him a round of applause. Come up and get some candy. Yeah. Woo wee! Rolling right along. Take a handful, please. All right. So, oh, now this is this is a totally different thing. We're moving into a whole different area. You are the mold breaker for this for this performance. I just, I just have a feeling you're just, you're going to knock the lid off something. Go ahead. Because you, you have a lot of things to say, don't you? Well, honestly, I just really had a craving for dots. For what? For dots. Well, you shall have them. Here. Yes. Let me, let me set them aside for you. <laughs> but first, 
Yes, I was just wondering, I know this is for entertainment purposes, but mm. what would be good investments for me? I know no one's really hit on the money thing yet. And I thought oh, I would ask yes, most the old people, lotto number story. Money, relationships, and... You know, I've had work. many people over the years <laughs> say, I want lotto numbers. I don't want lotto numbers. I want investment ideas, like mutual funds, individual stocks, SpaceX. Wow. I'm, I'm out of ideas. So, just talk. No, not Facebook. <laughs> like no. AOL. No, no, no. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to tell you what I'm picking up, but I do not want you to hold me to this. Oh, don't worry, I won't. I just Unless want it, it's a gold mine, then I want you to let me know if I was right. If, what I was, I, if it's a gold mine, I never met you. Okay. <laughs> See, this is what I get for the, the sweat of my brow. Anyway, no, I was getting something that has to do with, uh, like, not beauty products, but some kind of natural uh, oils or things you rub on your hands, something that, that's a product, a beautifier of some kind. Okay, is that making any sense? I like to moisturize. Now that's, okay, see, <laughs> folks, come on now. I'm only reading for her, so I'm saying, you know, you have a moisturizer that you like, invest in it. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, come and get your candy. Thank you so much. <laughs> Keep moisturizing, here you go, thank you. Whoa. This looks like a serious question. Yes, sir. It is serious? Yes, sir. Let me take a deep cleansing breath. Okay. Um, I know that uh, this will sound a little odd. Oh, good, an uh, odd question. I love it. Make it really odd. Oh, it is. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, I've been telepathically communicating with seventh dimension beings. Okay. And I was wondering if you could tell me more of their interest in me. Their interest in you? Yeah. Because they contacted me first. Um, how often do they contact you? A mm, couple times a month. A couple times a month. Do you keep a journal? No, sir. Okay, I have here's... a photographic memory. Yeah, but the thing is, what you're photographing is your memory. I need you to get it outside yourself. Because I can't give you the exact answer on that because, once again, I'm bouncing from you and going to the seventh dimension. Okay, so here's what I suggest. Get a journal. Write every single thing down. Write the date, the time, no matter how crazy it is, what this entity says to you. Okay. Then, then keep it in a journal book and put a little column on the right-hand side. And what you're going to do is, after a month or two, another month or two, you're going to take this journal, you're going to sit down, and you're going to look for the connections. Or in that column on the right, you will write, this was a hit, this was a miss. Oh, this is something that happened, this is something that doesn't mean anything to me. Eventually, you will take, if you're meant to, the step up the ladder by connecting the particular points. Because I don't know what they're about, okay? But if they're about, like you said, what it means to you, I think it's something internal. It doesn't have anything to do with the rest of us, okay? So I can't tell you exactly what it means. The only way to track it down is to pay attention to it. And don't think it's photographic memory because you're thinking of a memory. You need to have it come out of your fingers and form words. Then it'll bounce back and you'll be able to understand it. That help? Yes, sir. Okay, come on and get a piece of candy. <laughs> Woo! These are the sort of things I deal with, so don't be shy. Thank you. My pleasure. Good luck with that. Hi. Oh, now you're a lighthearted soul, aren't you? You're very easygoing, I can tell that. Uh -huh. Not many things bother you. I was just wondering what type of feelings or readings you get from me, just in general. I was just telling you that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, the feeling I get about you is that you're very easygoing. Uh, most of the people in your life do not impress you, that's one thing, okay? You, you go through life, it's kind of like, eh, this, that, the other thing. In your love life or your friendships, you're very specific, okay? <laughs> Is that true? A bit, yeah. Yeah, just a bit. In fact, you're a bit of a perfectionist that way, okay? Yes? I need an answer here. Yes? Yes. yes. Okay. I'm not trying to force these out of you. I just, you know, if I'm, if I'm making sense, you okay. know, roll with me here. This is how it's done. So you're very particular. Uh-huh. And the vibe I'm getting right now is something that has to do with family. Yes. 
Are you thinking about having a baby or something like that? No, I have four kids. I'm yeah, <laughs> four kids. Why am I picking up the name Charles? I don't know any. Picking Charles. up the name Charles or a name with a C in it, like is there? There's no Charlie or Charles involved. No. This? Chuck. No. Okay. Did you have a specific question about? Mainly just you know my like what I'm trying to retain job wise. Oh. Is it on the right you know like path or is it? I think you're the sort of person you got to do something fun, otherwise it's a waste of time. So if you can't totally be yourself and mm -hmm. express yourself, you're wasting your time. Okay. So take the job that allows you to express yourself, be yourself, any sort of restrictions. I mean, other than have maybe having a boss or something like that, that's what's really good for you. Okay. All right? All right, thank Come you. Come and get your candy right. if you want it. Come and get your candy, folks. I don't want to go home with this. All right, so we're down to the last couple minutes. Let me just explain what's going to happen now, okay? So I want to make this really clear. We're going to finish this up. Tomorrow I'm going to do my lecture on psychic blues and how I got them, okay? Psychic blues is my book, and how, what the actual blues is about, I think you're starting to get a little intimation about that, okay? The psychic blues part is what I'm going to talk about tomorrow. The blues. How, does it, how do you deal with this sort of career? What's it really like? Okay. And then on Sunday, oh, I'm also going to do some readings from my book, which you, if you look up Mark Edward on your, your uh, iPad, I assume all of you have those, I will be doing some readings from my book and some book signings. I have books if anybody's interested. At the skeptics table, we're all the way at the end of this hall. If you go all the way to the end, I will be there after this if you're interested in a book. And then on Sunday, I'm going to do a, a lecture on guerrilla skepticism, okay? Guerrilla skepticism meaning how far is too far to go? What, what do we need to do to get the word out about how all of this that I've been doing? I've been reaching these incredible emotional levels with people, but I'm not, I don't claim to be psychic. I'm an entertainer. I'm a complete con. I'm a charlatan, okay? So the idea with guerrilla skepticism is how do, you, how do you deal with that? What can you do to, to kind of stop all the, the madness, okay? I know that's a big, big order, especially with the people who are into the paranormal, but that's why I'm demonstrating this stuff for you, okay? So if you're interested in the answers, they're going to be on Sunday, and I'll give you some of the other methods tomorrow that are in my book. So I'm going to take uh, two more questions real quick. Anybody? You've, you've had it with me. Oh, okay, no. All right. Go ahead, sir. All right, so actually my question is more a question specifically for you. Good. Um, it's about time. <laughs> so in, in, in your career as a psychic or charlatan or whatever you yeah. want to call yourself. It uh, is a charlatan, and I'm, I'm proud of it because I started out in the psychic business to infiltrate and scam the scammers. Okay? So, yeah, that's, that's what I do, all right? Otherwise, I wouldn't be here at Skeptic Track, all right? I would be, you know, well, never mind. I don't even want to go where I'd be. But anyway, go ahead. So my question is, in, in your career as a uh, psychic, have you encountered any fellow scammer, charlatan, or whatever that has, you know, some trick up their sleeve or done something you just had, you know, could not explain how they derived what they derived or, you know, whatever? No, no, because... Because I'll be honest with you, now the psychics at the turn of the century, the mediums who did spiritualism, they had to be very creative. They had to work really hard to convince people because it was all new. Today, they're the laziest bunch of fucks you've ever met. <laughs> they don't even do they don't even do pre-show work or backup work or in, they don't they just stand up there and add Sylvia Brown. By the way, your spirit guide is Shirley. Next, next. And they're making millions and millions of dollars. So society is dumbed down. The psychics have dumbed down with them. If you see them, just watch them. They're terrible. They don't even do any work. They don't have to. So when I see people who are the current crop of psychics, it actually pisses me off. Because as a mentalist, I had to do my homework. I had to learn very specific methods that aren't even in use anymore. So. The only thing I see that bothers me, is that what you're sort of asking me? Or, or is there a trick that tricks me? 
Well, yeah, yeah, just basically something, you know, something that like, you know, wow, how'd they do that? No, that's sort of Well, I, I'm, as a magician, I mean, as a yeah. magician for many years, sure, I see a magic trick that fools me. Otherwise, I wouldn't keep doing magic. That's the fun of it. It's puzzle solving. But as far as psychics and mediums, it's the same old shit they've been doing for hundreds of years, and it has not changed. And uh, thank you for the applause in the back. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Dad. <laughs> It's the same old, the same old stuff, just re, not even reformed into a creative enterprise that is performance. It's not even performance art anymore. It's just the lowest common denominator. And the people who helped me before the show, raise your hand. Thank you. How many people do you think I need in a room of 200 people who I've done a little bit of talking to before the show? Oh, the secret's out now. Okay, so some of the biggest hits I got today were from people who I went to the side of the audience here while they were waiting by the door, and I did what mediums have done for years. They walk up to people right before the show, and they say, so is there somebody you'd like to reach on the other side? Oh, okay. Is there something you'd like to know about? Oh, okay. They remember that. People filter into the room. They do the exact same thing. You don't know that I knew about your dog, because she told me about your dog. <laughs> this lady here, she told me all about her brown car that the psychic told her was going to break down, etc., cetera, et cetera. It's a technique that is used. So once you're privy to that and you understand it, it becomes completely transparent. There is no spirituality. There is no metaphysics. It's bullshit. Thank you. I hope I answered. Yep. No. Would I be standing here? If, if I thought somebody could read a person's mind, they'd be the most dangerous person on the planet. Come on, don't you guys watch Doctor Who? I mean, <laughs> give me a break. You know, I mean, if I could look at somebody and tell them what they were thinking, I would be dangerous. The CIA would want to know about that real fast, okay? So, I was so, wanting to know how you got the brown car thing, and, and you told me. What, I, I didn't explained. even have to ask you. No, you didn't have to ask me, and that's why I'm an open book, and so is my book. So, you know, if you want to know how this is done, nothing is new under the sun. The only thing that's different is they're lazier than they've ever been. 20 seconds. One more quick one. Thank you, sir. Get your candy. Come on up here and get your candy. Yes. Hi. Hi. Um, just a quick question. Yes, Obviously, very quick. skeptic, I'm sure, with ma the majority of people in this room. I, I hope just have so. a decision that needs to be made yes. pretty soon. Yep. Need to get taken care of. What do you think about it? Go with your gut level. You already know the answer to it. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to him. Don't listen to her. You already have the answer, don't you? Yeah, I guess so. Yes, you do. Pretty Thank honest. you. Let's give her a round of applause. Come and get your candy. Come and get your candy.